Hi, and welcome to another after school special with the tips team. My name's Karen, and today we're going to talk about embedding websites and activities into your Pear Deck sessions. Website interactivity is one of the question types that you can create on your custom interactive slides. Open a Google Slides presentation that you already have content in or one from scratch. And then you can open the Pear Deck for Google Slides add-on. In the Pear Deck sidebar that pops up, you can scroll down to Ask Students a Question, where you can select the Website Slide option. On your slides, you can write instructions for what students need to do as they interact with the content. And students will be able to interact with the content and see your instructions while you're running a session, whether it be student-paced or instructor-paced. You need a link in order to make this type of slide. This link needs to be able to have some security involved. So it needs to start with HTTPS. Anything that students can interact with may also require something called an embed link. And I'll talk about that soon. When you're creating this content, you can paste the web link into the web address area, and then Pear Deck will allow you to preview what students will see when they interact with this content in a session. So let's get started. This is the slide that I want to make interactive with a website for my students. I'd like to add a YouTube video here that students can view right in the Pear Deck presentation using their own Wi-Fi bandwidth and using their own controls. So I'm going to navigate to YouTube and I find the video that I'd like to share with students. I need to double check that it's approved by EPSB so students can watch it on their account. In order to embed this into my slides, I need to get the link for this video. I'm going to click on Share in YouTube, and I have a few links I can gather. I can just get the link to the video to watch in YouTube, but I need something more to embed this in Pear Deck. I need the embed link. We can see this symbol in a lot of places, and this is the link that I need. When I click Embed, I see that I have a totally different kind of code on the side. I only need the link, though. I'm going to search for the quotation marks and find them, and then highlight only the URL. It's a bit different than the URL for the actual video because it has the word embed in it. I don't need all the other information about the, the width or the iframe, etc. I'm going to copy this link and navigate back to my Google Slides. I need to go to add-ons and open Pear Deck. Once this add-on is open, I'm going to navigate down to ask students a question and choose to make this slide website interactive. When I click on website interactivity, I get the editing features for the interactivity for this slide. I need to paste my link I got from YouTube into the space there. Because I chose the embed link, I can now see what students will see. When I'm done, I can click Update Slide. When Pear Deck adds interactivity to Google Slides, a bottom bar shows up about what kind of interactivity is on that slide. Here it says that students are going to browse this website area, which will be a single video, and it tells me that this is a web slide. If I need to edit this information, I can navigate to this slide and click again on Website, and it'll show me what information I've already loaded in to make this more interactive. Another type of interactivity you can embed is using interactive simulations on the internet, like, for example, a FET simulation. I can navigate to PHET FET and see different kinds of simulations that students could interact with if they were on the web. I would like to embed this activity about area into my Pear Deck session. So from the main page, I need to get the embed link. Not the link that is at the top in the Omnibox, but the embed link specifically. Again, we see that symbol. Clicking on that gives me a running copy of the simulation, but remember that I need to look for the HTTPS start and only copy what is within those quotation marks because that is the link. I'm going to copy that and navigate back to our slides presentation. 
I have my Pear Deck add-on open. I'm on the slide I'd like to add interactivity to, and I'm going to click on the website interactive option. Just like with the YouTube video, I'm going to paste my link. It loads what I hope students will be able to see, the explore and the game option. And then I'm going to update the slide. I can see again that bar shows up on the bottom that tells me that this is an interactive website slide and that students are going to head to this area builder. I certainly could just post the link for students to interact with this area builder and we could just click to play it. However, having it within the slide deck helps me support students with tab management and time management as well. If it has a web link, it's very likely that you could use a website interactive kind of question type for students to interact with that content. One such example is a Google form. I would like students to fill out this Google form while we are in a Pear Deck session together. In order to embed this Google form into the session, I need to get the embed link. I go to the send button in the top right hand corner of Google form and I have that embed option available, signified by this symbol. I click on that, and I have the embed HTML available. I can then select the link and copy it. I'm going to go back to my Google Slides deck and create a website interactive slide on this slide here. I want to paste what I copied from Google Forms into this web address area. Once I do that, Pear Deck can see that it is an embed link, and now I can see that my quiz is going to be available for students to fill out within our Pear Deck presentation. When I click Update Slide, don't forget that we can't see what students see until we run a session or start a lesson. We can see where students are going to browse in the bottom bar, though. So let's take a look at the student view. In order to start a presentation in Pear Deck, I need to start the lesson. And I am going to choose a lesson type. And I'm going to invite my students to join it using the join code or a link I paste in the chat or by sending them the link via Google Classroom. So here's the teacher screen or the projector screen for my first interactive slide, the YouTube video about gravity. Note that if I were to share this on the projector or on the screen of the Google Meet, we can't interact with this content unless we have actually joined the Pear Deck session. Here is the student view. In the student view, we can see the slide in which I've typed the information I want my students to uh, use when they interact with the content. And you can see that the play button is available for students to watch at their own pace and they have their own uh, opportunity to use the internet they have at home. What goes up must come down. Note that there is not any ads at the beginning of this video, but there are options to navigate away from this tab to see other videos. Students can pause and rewind as they see fit. Our next slide was the area builder that we pasted in. So let's go to our student view and here's the instructions on the left hand side and in the area builder area I can actually interact with the content. I can build area as my teacher desires. If I go to the teacher dashboard I can't see students interacting with the content when it's website. Only the students can interact with it. I can't see live what's on their screen. The next interactive question type we had was um, where we inserted a link to a Google form. If I go back to the student view, I see that my instructions are on the left and that I can actually answer the questions in Google forms and then be able to submit it at the end. There are lots of different kinds of websites that you can embed into a Pear Deck website slide. There's a few mentioned here and a few from the video. Down below is a link to the Pear Deck help site to embed different types of slides in case you have any issues. Enjoy your interactivity. Thanks so much. Bye for now.